We really had everything in our life that we could imagine, except we really wanted to have a family. And when you're two boys <laughs> trying to have a family, it takes time. And for us, the journey was two years from the day we met with our doctor to when our kids arrived. And during those two years, we realized that in Los Angeles, we really needed to move to a larger home. And there was this new house being built down the street from us. And it was very different than any home in our neighborhood. It was very, I would say, New England meets Southern colonial. And the facade had two porches and there were two pepper trees in the front yard. And I just thought, wow, that looks like a home that we could raise a family in. Jeff and I rolled the dice and we decided to buy this dream house and when we moved in, the whole home was just this blank canvas. And I had a vision for each room and I knew that I could work hard to make this house feel like the home that we both knew we wanted to raise our family in. Okay. We started with the facade of the house by adding just some benches, cushions, pillows, making it feel inviting, some hanging chairs. And in the inside, we first wanted to tackle the kitchen and we added some ginger vases some ginger jars. And then we actually collaborated with anthropology on our living room, which was really fun because we added these blush sofas. It was really fun to tie in five prints from my Bon Voyage series. And the room has this huge glass wall out to the backyard. So it really is a sort of spectacular living room and it was a great collaboration with Anthropology. And after that, we worked on the master bedroom, which was actually a big project. The room's quite large and we wanted to make it feel smaller and more personal. We had recently gone on a trip to the Bahamas and I was very inspired by the old world design that I saw there. So we brought in sort of a little bit of tropical like bamboo fabrics and we worked on grass cloth wallpaper around the room. It was just very elevated for the two of us. And the Italian artwork paired really beautifully with the traditional vibe of the space. I was thrilled with not only the bedroom, but also our bathroom. And after that, we started to work on our upstairs rooftop deck. And I took the one room challenge, which is when you document over a course of eight weeks, your progress designing a space. So on my lifestyle blog, we were able to share the entire story of the blank canvas we started with to the finished project. Meanwhile, we had just found out some exciting news that we weren't having one child, but we were actually going to be having twins. And we had two rooms at the front of our house that are Jack and Jill style, and it was the perfect spot for the twins' bedrooms. And I immediately decided to hire an interior designer. We did one room for our son and one room for our daughter. And when you look at Max's room, it's just so like traditional and it's got this light blue wallpaper and fabric paired with the animal artwork from my Parker series. And then Dove's rooms, very feminine with the beautiful light pink ribbon around the doors and the windows and the fabrics, the artwork from the Coral Casino and the Beverly Hills Hotel. Both rooms are so special and you're inviting a new beginning into your life and that's what these rooms represent. Meanwhile, in my professional life, I have been working with the Rockefeller Center Plaza in New York City for a very special limited edition photograph of the Rockefeller Center Christmas tree. And I had flown to New York earlier that year, and I went on the roof of Saks Fifth Avenue, which is right across Fifth Avenue, and I got up on a ladder over the ledge, and I shot about 30 different images of Rockefeller Center Plaza with the Christmas tree. 
And what most people don't know about this photograph is that it's actually multiple images stitched together because I couldn't fit the height of the building in one frame. So Jeff and I flew to New York to celebrate the launch of the photograph during the tree lighting. When we got home from New York City, we got a very unexpected phone call that the twins were coming a month early. So we got in the car and drove to San Diego as quickly as possible, which is where our surrogate was delivering the babies. And it all happened so quickly. And our daughter, Dove Muzzy Malin, was born seven pounds, one ounce. And our son, Max Talbot Malin, was born five pounds, 15 ounces. And we had about 20 minutes where we were together with them before Max started to have issues and he couldn't breathe. So he was admitted to the NICU hospital. And it was definitely something, you know, we didn't see coming, but like it was just life. and. It was really tough at the very beginning because Dove was released from the hospital and needed to go back to Los Angeles, but Max was stuck in the hospital in the NICU. So we had to sort of divide and conquer Jeff and I. And for anyone who knows anyone who's dealt with the NICU, it's really difficult. But I'll never forget when we finally got them both home. It was just worth every single effort we made to turn this house into this beautiful home and invite the kids in for the first time. And for me, the moment I walked in the door and I had my kids safely in this house was one of the best moments of my whole life. I hope that by hearing these stories, we are able to connect and that by listening to this whole journey, you are able to understand the value of your art. It's so much more than a photograph.